In this quick lesson, we're going to look at how you can prevent your Mac desktop from becoming a cluttered mess with the snap to grid command. I find that a lot of users have a cluttered desktop, like mine is currently. They don't really like that it's so cluttered, but at the same time they sort of have a system where certain files are placed in certain areas of the desktop, so they stick with it. With snap to grid you can still arrange the files on your desktop manually, but they get automatically aligned into a grid pattern. To do this, right or control click on the desktop and go to the sort by options and then snap to grid. Nothing happens. But now when I move a file, it snaps into place. So I can easily align files into a straight line here. But I can still place files in a certain area of the desktop. So if I prefer to put certain text files in the upper left of the desktop, and image files that I access a lot in the lower left, I can do that. So after just a few seconds, we're able to get this desktop looking much more tidy with the snap to grid command. You can also choose to sort by several other parameters, like file kind. But when I do that, I can no longer rearrange the files on the desktop now. They're locked into this position. If I drag in another file, it gets automatically placed by kind. Luckily, if I switch back to Snap to Grid, the Mac remembers how I had that arranged, and all the file icons return to that placement. So that's a quick look at the Snap to Grid command. It can be a great option to keep the files on your desktop in the arrangement that you prefer, but still in an uncluttered fashion. You can learn more about the view options in the Finder and Desktop in the macOS High Sierra Core Concepts tutorial available at themacu.com. Thanks for watching.